You will never go to the Valentine Ball with me. Just ask her. What's the worst that could happen? The worst? Yeah. Like the absolute worst? What's the worst. That she'd go with John instead. I told you. We talked about this. She let it out to me. She still loves you. I still love Cass, John. I'm not going to deny that. But could you wait a minute, please? Just because I love him, it doesn't mean I can marry him again. Frankie, if you love him, you should be with him. It seems pretty simple, doesn't it? No, it's not simple. Nothing with Cass is ever simple. That's part of the problem. And marry him again now, with my feelings all jumbled up the way they are? I mean, come on. Well, look, Frank, I don't want to be caught in the middle of this. You're not in the middle. I am. What I found here with you and Gregory is so completely different from what I had with Cass, John. I love the peace and tranquility here. I'm not sure I want to let that go. Honey, not only does Frankie still love you, she also misses the crazy and wild times the two of you had together. She does? Oh, believe me. She waxed poetic about you for over an hour. Over an hour. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What about John? Did she talk about him? Well, maybe just a little. How little? Honey, would you believe me? I could tell where her heart is. No, well, you're the only one. Felicia, I love Frankie. I'll do anything humanly possible to get then her back. Let her see the old cast. Let her see the guy that she fell in love with. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe yes. I'm just feeling weak because I'm sick. Oh. I am. I'm sick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> what if her feelings for John are real? I mean, what if this is not just a rebound for her? I have asked myself this question a million times, John. Have I really found something with you and Gregory? And Frankie, I, I know you think you mean all of this. I do, John. I do. I would never, ever, ever play with your feelings No, no, like no. That. I know. I know. I know you wouldn't. You would never do that. You know, maybe would you should... like to some... Go ahead. No, no. You, you, you go. Well, I, I, I was thinking that maybe we, we could... Um... Well, uh, try a, a a real a real a real date. I mean, just a, you know, a real. Yes, yes, I would like that very much. You would? Yes. <laughs> that's that's uh, good. That that worked out well. Uh, how about the Valentine's ball? That. Uh, oh. And, unless well, of course uh, you're uh, um, planning to go with Cass. No, he didn't bother to ask me. Sure. Why not? I'd love to. I'm telling you, Felicia, Frankie will not go to the Valentine Ball. He hates those la da dances. Since when? Since always. Oh, such a chicken. I'm, I'm not feeling well. Oh, here. Ah. Terry, call her. I'll do it. Hello? Can I talk to Frankie, please? It's Cass. You want to take it? Hello? Why didn't you return my call? Good start. I just got in. What's up? I'm sorry. I, I'm sick. <coughs> really sick. And you know how I am when I'm sick. I'm obnoxious and cranky and whiny. Uh, it's, it's late. Cass, would you mind getting to the point? Oh, sure. Uh, would you do me the honor of allowing me to escort you to the Valentine Ball tomorrow? I'm sorry, Cass, but I've already accepted an invitation. From John? Yeah. So, if that's all you were calling about, we've got a scooter to build here. Uh... A scooter? Don't let me hold you. Good night. They have a scooter to build here. Well, I'm not going to take this lying down. No, 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 no. Oh, honey. Mm. The burning hot. <laughs> you really do have a fever. 